Throughout Cao Shuichen's novel, The Story of the Stone, Cao takes common tropes in Chinese literature and drama and gives them further meaning within the story. In this podcast, I will look specifically at Bao Yu's gift of handkerchiefs to Dai Yu and Dai Yu's reaction to this gift. In this exchange, Cao Shuichen weaves allusions to the mythical realm through the use of literary tropes in order to enrich the reader's understanding of the complex emotions felt by Bao Yu and Dai Yu. The relationship between Bao Yu and Dai Yu can be traced back to the first few chapters of the novel when it is revealed that Bao Yu and Dai Yu share an otherworldly connection. In the mythical realm known as the Land of Illusion, a magical stone incarnated in human form as Bao Yu helped a crimson pearl flower incarnated as Dai Yu by watering her every day with sweet dew. The flower, Dai Yu, feels compelled to repay the stone and decides that the only way to repay him is with the tears shed during the whole of a mortal lifetime. The debt of tears that Dai Yu owes to Bao Yu is important in understanding the complex emotions felt by the two protagonists. Cao Shui Qin's allusions to the mythical realm are particularly seen in the gift of handkerchiefs that Bao Yu gives to Dai Yu in chapter 34. These handkerchiefs represent the debt of tears that Dai Yu owes to Bao Yu. This gift is particularly significant because material tokens, especially handkerchiefs, are regarded as an important means of bringing the lovers together in the romantic literature that Bao Yu and Dai Yu were reading. The handkerchiefs are a symbol of their love, but they are also representative of Dai Yu's debt of tears because they are an object into which she can cry. The famous romantic tale upon which Romance of the Western Chamber was based, titled The Story of Cui Ying Ying, is representative of the text that Bao Yu and Dai Yu were reading, and it provides a good example of lovers exchanging tokens of their love. In the story of Cui Ying Ying, after the male protagonist gives a jade ring and thread to his lover, he states, There is no value in these few things. By these things may my true feelings reach you, and may they be eternal tokens of goodness between us. Cao Shui Qin calls upon the familiar practice of exchanging love tokens in romantic literature and drama, in order to represent the love between Bao Yu and Dai Yu without the characters needing to state their emotion outright. Cao Shui Qin alludes to the lover's connection in the mythical realm by drawing upon the literary trope of lovers exchanging material tokens. Immediately after Dai Yu receives the handkerchiefs from Bao Yu, she is overcome with emotion and is compelled to write poetry because the ferment of excitement within her cried out to be expressed. In this instance, Cao Shui Qin uses the Chinese belief that poets could convey their truest emotions through their poetry in order to express Dai Yu's complex emotion following her receipt of the handkerchiefs. Dai Yu expresses her emotion by writing a three quatrain poem on one of the handkerchiefs she had just received. Dai Yu's poem focuses heavily on her crying and contains numerous references to her debt of tears. In the first quatrain, Dayu writes, Then know your gift being by the merfolk made, and merman's currency must be repaid. In this line, your gift being by the merfolk made represents the gift of water given to the crimson pearl flower, or Dayu, by the stone, Bao Yu. The reference to merfolk, people who are sea creatures and thus associated with water, alludes to both Bao Yu's mythical gift of water and his physical gift of handkerchiefs. When Dayu writes, in Merman's currency must be repaid, she unconsciously alludes to her debt of tears to Bao Yu by referencing Merman's currency, which can be interpreted as her tears. In the final quatrain of Dayu's poem, she writes, Only the speckled bamboo stems that grow, outside the window still her tear marks show. In these lines, Dayu notes that the speckled bamboo is the only sign of her tears. In Chinese poetry, speckled bamboo was commonly associated with stories about tears. It is said that spotted bamboo is marked with the tears of the two consorts of the Emperor Shun as they wept over his tomb in the land of Songwu. In another story, a son cried so much on behalf of his mother in a bamboo plantation that his tears caused the bamboo shoots to begin growing. Dayu's reference to speckled bamboo alludes to her debt of tears to Bao Yu and thus their relationship in the mythical realm. Because Bao Yu and Dai Yu are not able to outwardly express their true emotion for one another, Cao calls upon literary tropes to help explain the complex relationship between the two protagonists.
He does this by giving the common tropes further meaning in order to allude to Baoyu and Dayu's relationship in the mythical realm. The meaning of Dayu's poetry is made even more significant by the fact that she is writing her poems on a handkerchief. As she writes in her poem, jeweled drops shall on these gifts shower down their salty rain. Both Dayu's tears and Dayu's words mark the handkerchief which she received from Baoyu. In this sense, both her poetry and her tears are an expression of her emotion, an idea which demonstrates the Chinese belief that poetry is an expression of the poet's innermost emotion. After writing on and crying into the handkerchiefs, Dayu acts upon the handkerchiefs for a third time by burning them prior to her death. For women during this time, burning their own poetry manuscripts became a common motif. Cao Shui Qin's readers would be familiar with this motif, which would signal Dayu's imminent death. Because the handkerchiefs contain both her tears and her poetry, the act of burning the handkerchiefs signals that her debt to Baoyu has been paid back and she has no more tears left to give. Cao Shui Qin calls upon the literary trope of women burning their poetry prior to their death, but he gives the trope added meaning by connecting Dayu's poetry to her debt of tears. In Baoyu's gift to Dayu, and in her receipt of the gift, Cao Shui Qin enriches the reader's understanding of the emotion felt by Baoyu and Dayu by alluding to the relationship in the mythical realm.